Good morning, church. Last week in our weekly Bible study group, we were taking a look at Proverbs chapter four. And the subject was really about wisdom and what we could do to continue to grow in wisdom. Now, we all agreed that wisdom comes from God, and by reading his word and listening to the Holy Spirit, that's ways that we grow in our own wisdom. We also talked about the importance of choosing wisely our influences, choosing what we consume in terms of things that we read or watch or just the people we associate with sometimes. And then the other thing we talked about was that creating adequate margin in our lives also was a way that we could grow in wisdom. Recently, I read a book titled Soul Feast by Marjorie J. Thompson, and there's a chapter that really deals with the idea of Sabbath and rest, but it has a lot to say about creating margin in our lives. Uh, a quote by Wayne Mueller that, we, that you find in chapter five, I just want to read it to you because I think it really captures the culture that we currently live in. Here's the quote, in the relentless busyness of modern life, we have lost the rhythm between work and rest. Our culture supposes that action and accomplishments are better than rest, that doing anything, anything is better than nothing. Because of our desire to succeed and to meet the ever-growing expectations, we do not rest. And because we do not rest, we lose our way. I don't know about you, but that really captures my life in so many ways. It seems like I start by thinking about what time I need to be somewhere, and then I backtrack and think about every possible activity I can fit in uh, and squeeze into that schedule so that I'm as productive and I get as much done as I possibly can. And yet, if we're going to grow in wisdom, we have, to build, we have to build in margin into our lives, time to reflect, time for introspection, time to just be. Recently, uh, last Sunday, in fact, Kathy and I got to church a little bit early. Uh, in fact, we were there at five minutes after nine, set up in the sanctuary, 25 minutes before the service was even going to begin. Now, there were other people there, but for 25 minutes, I just basked in the glory of the sun coming through the stained glass window across from me, uh, listen to the, the gifted musicians that we have that play the gathering music, um, just, just focused on the essence of sanctuary. And, you know, somehow by doing nothing but just being for 25 minutes, not trying to meet with anybody, not trying to check my emails on my phone, just being in God's house and just being present. You know, for some reason, it seemed like the service was a little more inspiring. It seemed like there was more depth to the worship. And I connected to the fact that I had built some margin into my life prior to that worship experience. It's something that we should all probably do more often is to build in those little pieces of margin that allow us to be able to really experience the best that God has for us. You know, I went and looked at, uh, at the Bible this week and I thought about, I'm sure there are a lot of things that God has to say to us about building in margin into our life. Psalm 46, 10 says, be still and know that I am God. You know, when I read that, I'm reminded that in order to really practice margin, we have to trust God for everything. If we think it's all up to us, it's difficult to just be still. Psalm 23 has some great language about building in margin. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. And of course, Luke 10, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled by many things, but only one thing is important. And then in Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 through 21, do not lay up for yourself treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. 
but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. We're reminded that in God's kingdom, we just need to be. We are loved not because of what we do. We are loved because who we are and whose we are. So try getting to the worship service 25 minutes early sometime. Build a little extra margin in at your next doctor's appointment. When you have uh, a school play to go to, show up a little bit early. And don't use that time productively. Use that time to just be. And I believe you'll find that's one of the ways that we grow in wisdom. The importance of building margin into our life. God bless you.